I hope that uh, our colleagues from the university and our guests can cooperate and to share ideas and experiences regarding dual and practice oriented models. Basically at the end of the project or till the end of the project uh, we will be more um, experienced and uh, yeah, we will have more knowledge on the different models in the, in the Danube region. Uh, I think uh, during these two days uh, the foreign colleagues uh, can get very very good examples from the operating uh, Hungarian industrial partners. These partners uh, and uh, their students uh, participating in the dual type of education uh, will give uh, uh, all of their experiences uh, what they have received uh, via this project and I think uh, for us uh, as uh, so-called lecturers in the project it will be much easier to uh, give uh, our experience to our partners. In my opinion, the, the, the most important outcome of this project is the connections between the partners. And this is very, very important. So we hope uh, the Charter will be a sort of message also for other uh, countries or colleagues in other countries which are not part of this uh, EduLab uh, consortium and uh, they will probably also uh, find lots of inspiration in, in what we already went through, uh, designing new study programs and uh, help them to solve their own problems in their own countries. The EduLab project was created to offer young uh, people better chances in the Danube region uh, we are working in order to uh, close the gap between uh, the offers of higher education and uh, the needs of the labour market. Uh, and we are working for a salary uh, so that in uh, five years when young people in the Danube region get their uh, master's degree that they have real choices and uh, they have real chances at developing professional careers in the Danube region. The Adula project, from my point of view, is important to get a lot of information from the whole region. So, as Hungary has professional oriented study, not only Kretschke, but also in Europe, for about three or four or more years. Uh, other countries in Eastern Europe are so far. Uh, for them, it's really important to get information from Hungarian universities and from also from us. We are about two, three years back by Hungary. And uh, I think if we will start next year, we will be on the same level. I hope that also other universities will start this project in Slovakia, but we will see, it's not so easy. The main benefit uh, uh, is, uh, uh, of course, uh, that uh, your students are involved uh, in the processes of the company. Uh, it means uh, in IT processes, uh, technical processes, uh, we can show the whole company. Uh, they know uh, the company, the technologies of the company. Uh, and during these, uh, this, we can call it seven semesters uh, altogether, uh, they will get a deep view uh, in the company processes. And uh, if uh, we employ, uh, a dual engineer uh, at the end uh, we can get uh, somebody uh, who uh, doesn't uh, need uh, any training we can start immediately with uh, real projects uh, and, uh, and real, real work at the company that's the main benefit uh, of the company i think the difference between the normal and uh, the dual internship students that uh, we can get help for example uh, we struggle with physics or we struggle with mechanics, uh, they have engineers who can help us. The long-term goal of this project, in, at least in Zagreb, for me would be to really qualify our, our students, our young, to work in the country and also to stop the brain drainage. I believe that this type of training can also produce, stimulate a lot of uh, small companies arising in the, in the country, so hopefully. 
This is a very interesting group of uh, uh, heterogeneous <laughs> people from different, um, from business um, associations, higher education institutions, public administration, which is, uh, it's the Dan Danube region, uh, region is one of the most multicultural regions and it shows here in a small environment like um, such a conference or workshop uh, setting how diverse this region is but we have a common challenge and we have common ideas how to actually face up to those challenges and that um, binds us together and in short the work has been going on for a year and a half and you see this is a group of people who have a common goal and ideas how to achieve those goals and there was a lot produced already there's a critical challenging dialogue going on and this will produce a very very useful result for the young generation in the region in the Danube region.